Hi guys, this is Nunjukari speaking and we're going to talk about what happens when you create a clan from scratch. You know, when you create a clan, there's always a guy who just joins the clan and asks like, can I be an elder? Can I be a co-leader? And so on. Well, probably though, these, these people are, are kids, but I, I learn a lot of things from, from their behaviors and, and their, their patterns. And I, I see what are the good behaviors and what are the bad behaviors. And one of the bad behavior is asking for an uh, elder prematurely. So the guy just joins the clan and asks for an elder. I'm like, okay, this guy is a worthless guy. I, I have to kick him out or, or make him leave by himself. So I ask him, why? Why? Why do you want to be an elder? And most of the people say, like, I don't know. Or I just want to be. Or like I want to invite uh, friends. I mean that 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 is the the most sophisticated answer, but they actually don't have any reason. I mean, so uh, after that, most of the people just leaves because they they see that it's not gonna happen, or pe some of them stays and stop asking this question. And there was one guy who uh, joined the clan, asked for elder, and then. I said no basically and then he we did the one word together and he got six stars and after the war he was asking me can I be an elder I did six stars and I think I deserve uh, to be elder and, and I said like I well we need to do a war more wars together before making you an elder and he was like yeah but you said blah 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 and he was filling up the chat with all this conversation I was a bit fed up and I said like uh, listen I'm gonna give you elder when I want and uh, you stop talking about this and then and then this guy became stony silence and five minutes later I started a new war and then when the match was found so the the match was fixed this guy was uh, writing in a capital letter I am going to leave the clan because non jokare is a bitch and I, I it, this guy is uh, is is a uh, is an asshole and then he left the the clan like a fuck you and then I and then he left the clan and then I um I was thinking wow well thank God he left the clan for for me I don't have to respond to him anymore and it was it was really pain in the ass at certain points so I was kind kind of happy that he left. Uh, but I didn't want him to come back anymore. So, but the clan was open base, so I opened, so anybody could join anytime they they wanted. So, what I did is I closed the clan. I I kind of said as an invite only, so only the approved members will be joining. And then, uh, happily, fortunately, I the next morning he actually joined the the clan. And I can see the, the accept reject button on, on his account. And I was pretty happy to press the reject button. It was, it was like the happiest moment, uh, happiest day <laughs> of a clash of client life. So the lesson I learned from here is that, am I behaving like this kid? Uh, am I like this kid? Do I ask for a reward? Like uh, when, I, when I think I did a good job, uh, but am I asking for a reward for the short victory that I had? And I think I do. And I think I do. I think I did a really good job at work. And I, I say to the manager, hey, I did this much of job. Hey, please promote me. I think I did some of the, some of the things like that. And I think this is, this is a lesson I learned that I have to be reliable uh, and then giving a continuous victory to the team before asking for a reward and those who actually deserves the reward will get a reward even though they don't ask well i should i should ask for probably but um you know so that that is the something that i learned it's it's the reward and promotion is not something that you can get just by asking it's something that you have to serve first before asking so that's the lesson i learned and i i will try not to be that kid anymore in my life so uh, a clash of clan, creating a clan can give you some lessons of, of, can be a valuable lesson for your life as well. So I really recommend you to create a clan from scratch and try out how is your leadership skills goes. So this is all for this episode and I hope to see you guys next time.